Boeing delivered its first 787 Dreamliner today, an engineering marvel, but three years behind schedule. 500 employees pulled it 100 yards, delivering it to All Nippon, the Japanese airline. The plane features oversized windows, and the 787 is made from composite material instead of aluminum. Boeing has orders for more than 800 of those Dreamliners, enough to keep thousands of workers busy for years. But on a slightly smaller scale, Mark Strassman tells us a company in Georgia has figured out one way to create jobs. That is to make a product that is indispensable to the world's fastest growing economy. Every week, this factory turns out 10 million disposable chopsticks sold in China. But the chopsticks are made in Americas. America's Georgia, a town desperate for these 80 new jobs. Oh, there was nothing here. You know, vacant building, vacant building, vacant building. Yeah, it's, it's a sad situation around here. David Hughes and his partner Jay Lee started Georgia Chopsticks last May. Local leaders were skeptical. Because they were looking for people to hire folks. But then as it went on, it was kind of like, are they really going to make chopsticks? What seemed absurd, selling chopsticks to the Chinese, turned out to be the perfect business model. China uses 45 billion disposable wood chopsticks a year, but is running low on lumber. South Georgia has forests of poplar and sweet gum trees, ideal for chopsticks. And around Americas, closed factories left hundreds of people looking for work. What kind of a response did you get? Oh, they had to, they had to stop them from coming. There was like 400 came the first two, three days. For how many jobs? Uh, 50 then. This county's unemployment rate is greater than 13 percent. That's more than four points higher than the national average. This building was an abandoned bumper factory, and most of these employees had been out of work for two or three years. Ricky Hart's making minimum wage now after two years without a paycheck. His family of six lost their apartment and moved in with relatives. When your friends ask you what you're doing and you tell them, what's the reaction? I tell them we're making chopsticks. They look at me and they laugh. It's a chopstick. Yeah. Pays the bills. You have to pay the bill. Yes, sir. There's lessons in this that small town America could be a manufacturing center for lots of small, mid sized companies. There's people there to work. The government's easier to deal with. Uh, regulations are a whole lot less. It's just a better environment to work in. Georgia Chopsticks hopes to add 70 more workers by March. They may not be the only ones hiring. Asian companies have contacted local officials about possibly opening more factories around town. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Americas, Georgia.